The Drug Foundation is calling for a more health-based, holistic approach to tackling New Zealand's methamphetamine problem. It says the government spends four times as much on ineffective drug law enforcement than it spends on measures that actually prevent drug harm. Health correspondent Lucy Warhurst reports. Methamphetamine is an ugly, ugly drug. Um, it has destroyed my family. And when Carter Kelly's son started using from the age of 13, and it's been an at times terrifying 20 year journey, realizing just how bad his addiction was and having to remove his children. He ended up in ED following an overdose. Then she got the help she needed. As a parent of a drug addict child, you just think it's your fault. What did I do wrong? What could I have done differently? How can I fix this? And the five-step program gave me those answers and changed my life. Wastewater testing shows per capita Northland has the highest consumption of methamphetamine. Tiara Oranga is a Northland-based program that works to reduce demand for meth by providing health and social support. It's been trialled overseas in Australia and New Zealand um, and shown success. It's uh, evidence-based practice that actually the, this type of treatment works for people um, with that type of addiction. A report found that for those referred to the programme, criminal offending was reduced by 34%. And the Drug Foundation wants it to be funded nationwide. It would cost about 40 to $45 million to roll it out properly around the country. Its return on investment would be at least three times that. Amazing. It took 15 years for Anwin to get the help her family needed. She says it's still early days, but her son's now been clean for two years. The kids are enjoying having seen Dad again, and I'm really proud of him, how far he's come. Um, and, yeah, I'm excited for the future. She says Tiara Oranga Five Steps program saved her, and she wants it made available to any family affected by addiction. Lucy Warhurst, News Hub.